question is this, how can Didio put your website on steroids? All right, we've already talked about a couple of ways, right? But let me show you some examples. Instead of me telling you how to do it, let me show you what some people have done with it. The, the actual article says, this, how a startup land a shelf space in Walmart. So you think you're talking about some company that's trying to get you know, into the big boxes. All right, well they were, but that's not what the real crux of the story is. All right, the guy over here and uh, his Bob Wagstaff, and what Bob did, he's an inventor, and he invented da, 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 the Aura Brush. Sounds like a toothbrush, doesn't it? Well, it's not. You know what it is? Tongue brush. <laughs> and the reason that Bob invented it is he realized he could corner the market because there were no tongue brushes out there. So after spending $40,000 developing this thing, getting ready to start you know, mass producing it, he goes and starts approaching all the big boxes, and guess how many of them decided to put the tongue brush on the shelf? Zero. So now he's got a $40,000 Holmes wallet. His business is rapidly spiraling down the drain. He's desperate, so what's he do? He goes on to Google, he starts sniffing around, and somehow he manages to get in touch with the professor of marketing at Brigham Young University. And he gets on the phone with this guy, and begs and pleads, and tells him about this product, and the professor is so enamored with the potential of the Aura Brush that he immediately takes the product and passes it down the line to one of his undergraduate students. And the undergrad takes a look at it and says, well, I don't know, dude. I can shoot a video for you, put it on YouTube, 500 bucks. So, the, you know, Bob figures, you know, 40 grand in the hole. What's another $500? Okay, kid, give it your best shot. Would anybody care to guess how popular a video about a tongue brush could be on YouTube? By the way, that's their uh, YouTube channel called Beat Bad Breath. Take a guess. How many good views do you think the tongue brush got? Take a wild guess. 300,000, what'd you say? Half a million. Do I hear a million? Two. Two million. You're not close. The answer is 40 million views. It's staggering. In fact, they are now the third most popular YouTube channel after Apple Computer and Old Spice. So what I want you to understand is this. If YouTube could do that, for a tongue brush company, think what it could do for yours.